Hi, my name is Louis, and I'm going to be talking a little bit about the sharing economy or environment or ecosystem. So this is what I really want to be a big part of, is the development of this uh, sharing environment or ecosystem. So what you can see here is that the benefits of the sharing environment are that it's um, communal. So you then you know, develop a very strong sense of community between all the people, which are represented by P's in this diagram, and it's decentralized. So you don't have any you know, huge organizations like banks or food companies uh, as much getting in your business. Um, so the things are being shared, pizza, uh, drinks, that represents food, services like Uber, uh, cars and rides, you can see that with Lyft, Zipcar, a whole other bunch of ride sharing applications, uh, money, you can see that with Venmo and Bitcoin. Um, we were thinking that that could even be taken a step further. You could have a service that uh, allows individuals to act as ATMs um, in order to make money for the actual individual. So someone would give you money, they would facilitate a big transfer, and the person would make a little bit of money, and then the producer of the app would make a little bit of money. Uh, another thing we could have is you know, more social networks that are more community-based. We could have those kind of social networks that exist within communities like neighborhoods, um, which already exist, but those are what were represented by the small dotted lines. So I find myself being as far to, part of the sharing economy through my impact in the technological sector. I think by the development of these new technologies that will facilitate the sharing economy and ecosystem, I could be one of the big creators of this kind of frame of mind.